Hello there YouTube, this is Hell's Unicorn once again, up here burning the midnight lamp at a little bit past 1 a.m. I was doing a little web searching, a couple of favorite sites of mine, and I rolled over to a site called globalresearch.ca. It's a place where they keep up to date on the activities of globalists, uh, business interests, uh, anyone else basically tied into multinational corporate activity, world banking, all of that stuff. And I came across a little article here by Stephen Lenman, and it's titled, No Banker Left Behind. Now, I'm not going to read the whole article to you because it's pretty darn long and there's a lot of information packed into it. But I just wanted to run through some numbers here. And in order to do that, I have to preface this a little bit by reading the beginning of the article so you know pretty much what I'm talking about. So here goes. On Wall Street, that is, this is in reference to the No Banker Left Behind scheme. So hyped by advanced fanfare, Timothy Geithner, a.k.a. Shithead, unveiled his public-private investment program, PPIP for short, on March 23rd, the latest in a growing alphabet soup of handouts topping $12.5 trillion and counting. Yes, I repeat, $12.5 trillion and counting. So much in so many forms in government speak language with so many changing and moving parts, it's hard for experts to keep up, let alone the public, except to sense something is very wrong. They're being fleeced by a finance Ponzi scheme, sheer flimflam, and here's how we know, uh, excuse me, what he says is, and here's how from what we know. <clears throat> $400 billion in taking over Fannie and Freddie. That's Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, for those of you that are not familiar with that. Those were those big banks that went under not long before Bush left office. $42 billion for the auto giants. Billions more coming from their, for their suppliers. Approaching $200 billion for AIG, with more coming on request. $350 billion to Citigroup in handouts and loan guarantees, tens of billions to other banks, including $87 billion to J.P. Morgan Chase for bad Lehman Brothers trades, $700 billion for TARP-1, half of the money already being released under TARP-2, over $200 billion in counting for the term asset-backed securities loan facility, or TALF for short, to extend government guaranteed loans for investors to buy certain AAA rated asset backed securities as a component of the Consumer and Business Lending Initiative, CBLI, established under the Emergency Economy Sta Stabilization Act, EESA, in 2008. If you can't remember any of what I just said, I think the reason for that is because this was set up to be so complex that no human being could comprehend it. Moving on, $787 billion stimulus under the American Recovery and Relief Act of 2009. Thank you, Barack Obama, for that one. Uh, around $300 billion under the Home Affordability and Stability Plan. Another thank you to Barack Obama on that one. $50 billion backing for short-term corporate IOUs held by money market funds. So we're basically, that's extra money to pay for the extra money that we're loaning out. All right, $500 billion for various credit market rescues. That's basically money paid for for the fuck-ups of smaller companies issuing credit. $620 billion for industrial nations currency swaps. Uh, $120 billion for emerging economies currency swaps. This is all money that's going overseas. We're not going to see a penny of it. $1.25 trillion for Fannie and Freddie mortgage-backed securities. Man, the money pit just doesn't end with Fannie and Freddie. $200 billion for Fannie, Freddie, and federal home loan bank bonds. Again with Fannie and Freddie. Jesus. 
uh, way more than the announced 300 billion for long-term treasuries, mostly with seven to 10 year maturities. The Fed's been buying billions of them since last year. The Fed expanded overnight lending to 2.4 trillion free money at 0% interest. A reported 750 billion for banks in the FY 2010 budget. This is money that we'll be spending next year, not this year. So we're spreading it out a little bit. Um, 470 billion increase for the FDIC to borrow from the Treasury, and perhaps hundreds of billions more in unannounced or hidden handouts in accounts, and to whom the Fed and Treasury won't say on March 14th. AIG named its big counterpart parties for the first time with firms like Goldman Sachs, uh, Societe Generale, Deutsche Bank, and Barclays showing up prominently. And now, PPIP, the latest gift to Wall Street, courtesy of taxpayers, getting none of the gain and all of the pain. And it goes on from there. Now, aside from the speculation, the numbers that aren't given, if you take all of that out and you take just the hard numbers that you got from this, and I have my little calculator here with me, we come up with $8.74 trillion. Now, that's confirmed money. It's believed that there's going to be at least another $4 trillion more spent in addition to this. But let's just break this down here. $8.74 trillion dollars. Are you fucking kidding me? I repeat myself. Are you fucking kidding me? With prudence to myself and benevolence to all of you, good evening.